Cooking over fire is literally my favorite thing to do. To me, there's nothing better, you know, than being outside, than being with the elements, and having yourself a great meal prepared over it. The opportunity to do that with Loretta really kind of sealed the deal. We were able to really work together. You know, she's got so much knowledge and insight, and I've sort of worked for a long time to develop interesting and different recipes, and having her with me to, to guide, especially around the indigenous food facts, you know? I'll start smashing a sweet potato and then get an education lesson for two minutes about sweet potatoes and why they're important to us, and you know, just the combination of those things can't really beat it. Anyone that knows me knows that I find great joy and pleasure in finding food in nature. You know, being out in Cali, it's really sweet because there's just so much abundance everywhere. Oh, yeah. When foraging, I always like to impart knowledge, if you will, about kind of how to do it in a way that's respectful, thoughtful, and safe. You know, when you're taking native plants, when you're foraging and taking these gifts from the earth, it's a really sacred gift that we're given, and it's important to honor it um, because I think the food that's here growing for us is, is here for a reason and that's really important that that continues to happen. Every season brings uh, different types of herbs and flowers and plants. Those things grow at that time for a reason. So I, I just like to encourage people to get out and understand that more because I think it really helps us understand the cycle of life. <laughs>